Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be heading into the brawny boy bin, which is a blocked biome in the upper yard, which the player will need to open. And it is absolutely bursting with treats. Inside, it holds not one, not two, not three, but four milk molars, two scabby pieces, the shield solidifier trinket, the whittle whittling trinket, the forgotten burgle chip, the wasp queen notes, the health and safety badge, and raw science galore. So in order to open the brawny boy bin, you'll need to kill some wasps. If you're not good at killing wasps, fear not, I have just a video for you, so you should go check that out. You'll also have to destroy a hive or two. After that, you'll get this message saying the wasps are annoyed by you, and then this message saying the wasp hive has been disturbed. Following that, the next time you go to sleep, you'll see this cutscene. So now the brawny boy bin is open and we have access to it, but also a bunch of wasps have been released around the yard, so you'll now find them in places where they weren't before. So let's head into the brawny boy bin and see what's inside. The entrance is just here, near the sour wormhole rocket next to the bin bags. Before heading in, you'll need a torch or a firefly headlamp, a black ox hammer and a dandelion tuft. The brawny boy bin is a really cool place. It reminds me of It Takes Two, but with a dark side. So we've got some rusty nails lying around here and inside this ball as well. But if we leave this ball and head left and then head along this wall here, that leads you straight to the first milk molar. And you've got some sour candy there as well. So heading back out and past these books, We've got an awesome keyboard here. I don't know why I love it so much. I think it's just nostalgic with the dust between the keys, the kind of yellowy base with the gray keys. I think we all started playing games on one of these. And at the end here, we've got this glass jar, which allows us to see the next part of the bin. And up there is the wasp nest. That's where we'll ultimately end up. But for now, let's go back and pick up some bits. So continuing on past the jar, don't worry, you can't get caught in these cobwebs. We've got some more toys here, and then we'll head into this cardboard box on the right. And in there you'll find some ticks. They're weak to spicy, so the coltana is really good for them. And one more. And once you've dealt with them, if you look up, you'll see some raw science up there and you can climb this wall on the right to get to it. Nothing like a little and we'll head back out the way we came in and continue around this corner. This leads to a dead end with a black widow. Now don't be scared to fight her. I've got a great video on how to take them out easily. You'll want to kill her because not only is she guarding the second milk molar, but she's also guarding the widow whittling trinket in her egg sac. That's really hard to say. When equipped, this trinket, similar to the mom jeans mutation, summons black whittlings to help you fight. So you'll have noticed that I took out the black whittlings first because you don't want to be fighting anything else when you're fighting a black widow. But somehow, this little termite guy made it in, so I had to try and avoid him while I was fighting her. But I did manage to kill her, and him as well. Over here is the egg sack, which has the trinket in it. You'll need a tier 3 axe to chop it, and there will be a bunch of black widowlings that will come out of it. I think I had four in mine. Like the ticks, they're also weak to spicy, so I found the spicy Coltana to be really effective against them. So I also got two Black Ox horns, along with the trinket. Don't forget to get your milk molar as well. 
So if we head back through the tick corridor and out the other side, there should be some termites here. You'll probably want the salt morning star with a shield for these guys. So in this area, there is a lot of wasp paper lying around and that's because you're directly under the actual wasp nest itself. So make sure you pick all that up so you can make some nice lovely lamps for your base. So once you've picked all that up, if you continue along this back wall here, and you can already hear it, it will lead you to the third milk molar. Continue past that, you'll come to the other side of the glass jar. If you turn left there and carry on along here, it will take you to your first scabby piece. If you then jump onto the back of the keyboard, there's a giant disassembled taste tea up here. And he has some raw science as well, so you can jump up and get that. Get your science here. There's some more raw science up here as well, next to his arm. And you'll also want to hit his arm with the tier 3 black ox hammer to make it fall down to create a little shortcut for yourself. So that if you do fall down, you can easily get back up instead of having to run through the entire bin again. Now, when you get to the top here, you'll want to try and climb to the top of this taste tea, which can be quite difficult actually. From this point, you'll want to try and jump around this blind corner onto his face. From there, you're gonna try and scramble up the side of his head. After a few attempts, you should be able to make it. And at the top, it's the fourth and final milk molar. There's nothing else really up here, so you'll want to jump down onto this blue ball here. And that will lead you onto this cardboard box, where you'll find some spicy candy. From here, you'll want to jump up onto the pencil, which leads you onto the other tasty arm where you're going to do exactly the same thing you did on the other arm. You can then jump down here, and there's another wasp hive to destroy. And there's also a sour wormhole rocket. And inside this rocket, there's obviously sour candy, but right at the back is the shield solidifier trinket. Now, if you've watched my mantis video, you'll know just how fantastic this trinket is. It increases your shield's block gauge by 200, meaning you'll hardly ever get stunned and your shield is basically invincible. So from here, you'll want to jump back onto the pencil, get my salt morning star out just in case I alert these wasps, and then from there, jump back onto the tasty arm again, but this time head all the way to the top, and you'll find another wasp's nest and a field station, where I advise you take cover from these wasps. In here, you'll find this reminder here to do not open the brony boy bin. And from there, if you head back out and behind the field station, and this is where you'll need your dandelion tuft. So from this floppy disk, if you jump down there to the where that raw science is, this takes you into the wasp nest, like which is where you will eventually fight the wasp queen. And if you head over here, you'll notice there's a skeleton lying on the floor. If you raid his bones, you'll get an ORC receiver, the health and safety journal, the wasp queen research notes, which now unlocks the BBQ medley so you can summon her, and we also got the health and safety badge there. This badge gives life steal equivalent to 4% of the damage the player deals, but will slowly drain the player's health by 5 every 3 seconds. So it it sounds pretty terrible, like surely they'll cancel each other out, right? But I think if you use very heavy hitting weapons like the Club of the Mother Demon, this might work well. But to be honest, I'll probably never use this badge. So there's still a couple more things we need to get. We need to get the second scabby piece and the forgotten burgle chip as well. So head back onto the pencil and then back onto the tasty arm again, all the way to the top. This time we're going straight past the field station 
and if you look down over the edge you'll see the outline of another blue ball there and you want to jump past that you will need a dandelion tuft again so you don't take damage and we're going to climb up these books here and then if we go all the way to the end we will find another wasp nest and the second scabby piece you don't want to fall off here because you will land basically on top of the black widow if you haven't killed her yet so be careful and for the forgotten virgo chip you'll just want to head back over to that blue ball and inside that is the chip so that's it for the brownie boy bin it's fully cleared i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you in the next one bye